What's up, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Morsi, and I'm here to give you a little quick review on the SLXD25. All right, so, you know, me being a DJ, I thought it was time to upgrade my uh, wireless scenario. For the longest, I've had the AKG, what is this, the HT40 wireless mic, and I loved it. It was cool. It it got the job done. I mean, I had the, f the freaking mayor of New York on this microphone saying a couple of speeches at uh, some Grammy events, and it held it, it held it down. And this is the receiver that it comes with, which was one of the reasons why I got it, because it was small, and I'm all about small receivers. I'm a minimalist. I like to carry as little as possible, and it, it, did it, it, it got the job done. The uh, connection was always pretty clear. Um, I noticed that the only issue maybe when the battery would kind of run out on, on these, which, it, which held, I think it was one double A, if I'm not mistaken. Ah! Oops, dropped that. Yeah, one double A. Um, as soon as the battery started like to get a little weaker, I heard a little staticky sound. It was almost like my little warning of, hey, you know, this, this mic is almost done. And the only problem is there wasn't really an indicator letting me know the battery percentage and all that. And I think that's important to have because that's always in the back of your mind when you're doing a private event is, one, am I connected? Two, am I, um, what's, the, what's the word? What am I trying to say? One, am I connected? And two, will my battery ever die out? So my first wedding I've ever DJ'd, um, the DJ agency gave me a microphone already set up. I wasn't aware of battery stuff or any of that info because this was, you know, a very long time ago. My first wedding gig, the battery died during the ceremony. I had to run over and replace the batteries mid ceremony. It was embarrassing and thank God I'm a great DJ because they love the music. So I still got good reviews for the music. Um, just that note of the battery dying on the mic was a big deal for them. So I think ever since I've been scared of weddings, maybe <laughs> who knows, but it's been years later. It's been hundreds of weddings later and now I'm a certified professional at this shit. And I thought, you know, let's time, let's get a better microphone. So I got this SLXD 25 and look how small this receiver is. So I was at AES um which is like this audio convention and when i saw this i was like no way you mean i could use this and have a wireless mic and that's it in my little bag and it comes with these little cute sure pouches which you've probably seen a million times um yeah so if you're in the market for a microphone, I highly suggest getting this because the clarity was crazy. I was so used to hearing this and thinking, oh, this is great. It sounds fine. It sounds clear until I got into this shit and I was like, whoa, right now I'm hooked up to the Apollo twin and I'm not even sure if I'm connected correctly. I've never connected a wireless microphone to an audio interface, my audio interface at home. So yeah let me know how it sounds out there uh it's uh, i did a test and it sounded pretty good but i don't even know if the levels are right who knows uh i'm usually on the sure sm7b as you've probably seen in previous videos and i love that microphone it's nice and clear it gets the job done it's a standard podcast mic uh video mic but right now i'm on a wireless and that's kind of cool um, anyway, yeah, that was it. I just wanted to give a shout out on this. So far, I have had no issues. Um, the I did an outdoor event, and the distance of the... Um, there was a host on the microphone, and the host started going really far away from me. I want to say about 50 feet to 75 feet, and then I started getting a few, like, um, kind of disconnects. But... And I think the reason was because I didn't even rescan. I did a previous scan at home, 
because you know with these digital mics you have to rescan the the area so that it gets like a better connection a better satellite but i didn't i just turned it back i just turned it on and it worked fine so i thought you know what why the hell not let's just let's just go with the flow um and it worked great up until the person went about i want to say 50 to 75 feet away from me which was a is a pretty distant area outdoors so you know i was surprised that it sounded that clear regardless would i suggest this mike absolutely the reason why i'm doing a review because i didn't see any djs talk about this i've only seen some people talk about it for like videos and whatnot but like this shit for this size man i think it's i think it's worth getting uh, it was f- uh, fairly inexpensive too and like like i said i'm a sure whore <laughs> i have i have this now i have the sm7b i have the sure 58 wired version because if you're a professional dj you're gonna have your backup connected just in case this wireless doesn't work or this wireless didn't work i always had a backup wired um and i got you know sure earbuds too because why the hell not yeah very trusted company djs will always swear by this um i didn't want to spend too much money on the ulx d versions which i feel like were a couple hundred dollars more maybe even a thousand maybe it was in the thousands and this was like in the four to six hundred i forgot how much i paid for this because i got a little hookup discount from the school that i teach at and yeah i mean i have no complaints on this microphone so far what's great though like i talked about the battery wise i didn't know a battery indication on this Ooh. You hear that? That shit. Yeah, this shit's done. Um, anyway, the battery indication on this is great because you can see it. Let's see. Can I get it? Uh, you can't. You can't see it. But if I'm looking at the screen, let's see. There we go. Come on, get in focus, baby. No. All right. Anyway, you can see in the screen, and you can see on the receiver which is really cool so i got my battery indicator right there as you see and i'm loving every minute of this microphone and i hope y'all do too so if you're in the um in the market to get one for maybe black friday and you're about to watch this video thinking about it do yourself a favor and get this it's worth every dollar i'm not sponsored by sure but I sure trust it. (laughs) Until next time, y'all. It's more CIC. I'll see y'all later. Peace.